And yes. what if, what if we, this builds into something where people are like wanting to come to Melbourne to go on a Darren and Stuart's Oh my god! By now we all know Steph, she was my Uber passenger back in 2018, and it doesn't take long to realize that she's the life of the party. Hey, yes! Yes! <laughs> Today I'm pitching Steph my business idea in an attempt to become partners and make a billion dollars together. I really hope she likes a billion dollars. This is Darren from Merch. Hey Darren from Merch, it's just Darren here. Hey! Unfortunately, we haven't made a billion dollars in Merch and I have another idea that's gonna make a billion dollars, so you're fired. Well, hold on a second, you gotta give me a couple of years for that. We haven't had a new drop in a long time. On the floor. Oh, did I actually? Oh, oh. I thought that was intentional. No. How you doing, bro? Look at those glasses, you dude. Are you not drinking? Hey, oh, what the fuck is in that now? Uh, <laughs> at this point, I have no idea. Hey, oh. <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> Hello. Do I know you? I don't know. Do you? You're gonna need your car anyway. How you doing, dude? Yeah. Pretty tipsy. Not yeah. Gonna lie to you. Are you sober as tonight? I'm though? sober as today. What the fuck? Hey. This is so unlike. I know. But I'm the best. I just went to a party. Went to a party like before this. Yeah. I had the best time sober. I was fucking like loving it. So you're like in the mood. Liv was a passenger of mine a few months ago, and someone she's very passionate about is One Direction rock star Harry Styles. In fact, she's so passionate about him that she's figured out a way to make money from being a fangirl. And okay. he's got me a job as a specialist One Direction DJ. <laughs> Wait, actually? Yeah. I didn't know it was a special. Yeah, I'm touring at the moment. Dude, that's. Fucking yeah, awesome. like I'm like I'm getting paid to be a fangirl, if you really think about it. I did see you reacting to some song and then crying and I was like, Oh, oh my Matilda God. really like it fucked every hole I had. It was <laughs> too much. <laughs> it really was. Oh, oh, right, booze bust, see. booze bust. Booze oh, bust. Get it! Get it, get it, get it! Here we go. Speed? Here we go. Could, could someone's be caught? Ha <laughs> oh, I think it was a booze bust. Yeah, Aww. they got corbusly. Aww. RBT that shit. I want to be RBT so badly. We can make our own RBT. We'll call it rare but timely. Really bad. Tantrum. <laughs> Rolling. But twisting. Friday beneath tits. Wait, concentrate. Are we going okay. into business together? Yeah, we are. <laughs> no, seriously. No, seriously. Seriously. No, I need to spit on it though. I, I saw what I saw. Check the instant replay. You bastard, you can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't a fan, but I feel no. like you would also hyperventilate if Harry was right in front of you. I, like, how would, like, reenact it right now? Like, Harry's right in front of you. Yeah. What are you going to say to him? Okay, let's go. So, I don't think I would fangirl, but I'll tell you when I would fangirl. Yeah. Last week when I was voting, I met a dude named Matt. I Sticks. saw that! Dude, you didn't I, shut up about that no, the Liv, whole day. Liv, the guy on the poster is just standing walking through giving people like his card. <laughs> it's a sign. I, it, it literally was a sign. <laughs> I actually fangirled because I, was, I wasn't expecting it because I saw the poster sitting yeah. there and then five minutes later he was just in front of me and I was speechless. And yeah. then I went up to him, I was like, can I get a photo? <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out here. I'm hearing. I was thinking about Here's this a while, but a lot of people that watch TikTok are in Melbourne. And that also means that a lot of people that watch TikTok, and I know this from analytics, are like 18 to 22. And so that I'm, also I'm means, over that. I'm over no, that. That's not, that's not I'm a... I'm old. No, no, I'm no. Old. But the point you're is... You're talking about fucking no, old grandma. Is, well, you're an old grandpa, so it's fine. The point is, yeah. those are the people that are in the clubs and bars, and maybe they need some old timers to show them around. There could be something here. I think I'd fangirl over, like, my own childhood hero. So, like, you know... What Jerry... did I do with the Wiggles? Totally. totally. <laughs> so, all of the Wiggles just, like age like fine one i never saw murray as attractive but until now. he fingered his guitar oh my god <laughs> <laughs> if i show you the video you will go home and have a jerk oh, it was god. insane man's had like a three minute guitar <laughs> solo oh i felt like i was watching metallica <laughs> So for me it'd be like Jerry Seinfeld or like Jay-Z. I felt that, yeah. Or like, you know, but... He's such a millennial. Yeah, <laughs> I really am. <laughs> like, dude. It's embarrassing. I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> 
Like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what being mean? Gen Z is just so much better. Like, you guys are just looked at as like, yeah, oh, you're you, old, but you're like, you're like decaying, but like, you still look 20. Yeah, but you guys are unstable. We, yeah, but like, we're living <laughs> it up. It's true. Like, credit to you, you guys know how to party. Oh, for sure. Actually, you know what? I take that back. No, you don't. Excuse no, you don't. the fuck you out guys, of me. You guys, no, 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 no. You guys This know dude how to party. rejected yeah. two offers I've given him so far to come out and drink with me. He's like, nah. Because you don't know how to party. Millennials, we go out, we're comfortable, we've been doing this for a while, we know what's up. You guys are like, oh my god, you remember when I went to the Wiggles and got absolutely sloshed? Like, are you forgetting that that happened? Exactly, because it's all so new and it's all so fun. But speaking of which, dude, we've been around the block. Are you actually being serious about this? I'm I'm actually very, very serious. And then on top, okay, so that's how we organize it though. Hear me out, hear me out. That's the pub crawl idea. But then, what if we also get people to sign a, an agreement oh, before, to make, like a, and we make video. content oh, around it and yes. what if what if we this builds into something where people are like wanting to come to Melbourne to go on a Darren and Stuss pub crawl oh my god that is how fucking lit there's, there's actually there's potential there. would you ever go into business with a friend yeah for sure really yeah because like if it's a friend like I don't have any friends that I wouldn't trust with my life you have friends okay <laughs> you have subs uh. <laughs> it does depend on the person if I was to run a business with a friend that have to have like the same amount of energy as I do because I, I'll, I can message you at 3 a.m. and be like let's get shit done and like we start small like maybe it's a group of like 10 to start uh. and we just kind of like try to sell 10 tickets so and all we have to do is show people a good time like the what venue would you already... about dicks out? I mean, you might. By the way, I forgot to tell you. Yeah. So, like, my OnlyFans name, right, it's pretty iconic. It came from my first ever Moshi Monsters account, Livy Roxy. Moshi, That's my what's first... Moshi Monsters? That sounds like a kid's thing. Moshi. I beg your pardon? Moshi Monsters was an online game for the early 2000s kids. The Gen Z is you fucking fossil. <laughs> 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 I can't... Up... <laughs> your OnlyFans name, username. Yeah. Is based off a kid's thing. Yeah, it was my my mom came up with it when I was about seven, and now it's my stage name for the DJ. Uh, so like when people look up my name, it comes up with my OnlyFans, so I get paid either way. Clever. <laughs> <laughs> Not even kidding. My boss was like, "Why Livy Roxy?" I'm like, "Sends him the link." I was like, "This is why." He's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> but like all all honestly, because like no, you're serious. sober, would you want to do? Hundred percent. Like you know you can ask drunk Steph this as well, right? Drunk Steph and Steph. I know I can ask drunk Steph as well, but like, you know, if we're talking about a business venture, I'd rather speak to sober. I'd rather... I'd rather... Yeah, fuck it, fuck it! If you live in Melbourne and could see yourself joining a pub crawl hosted by Stuss and I, I've set up a Google form to gauge interest and to get a bit of an idea of what you'd expect to see on a pub crawl with us. Now this is purely for research so that it can be as awesome as humanly possible. It takes less than two minutes to do. It's linked below. Please fill it out for me so I can make this pub crawl idea happen. That's a really cute puppy. Woof woof. Woof woof. Are you trying to get the attention of the dog or the owner? Because <laughs> you don't sound like... She has caused more damage to my flesh than any other dog has. I swear to God. Like you see these little like red spots? Mm -hmm. That's her. Why do girls bruise so easily? Are you serious? I'm not saying that. Girl? That Look sounds really that. creepy. <laughs> Holy fuck. I don't know how this happened. It was literally my whole leg. Like, did I tell you that I went you to told the... me. Oh, man. No, I fixed what? my back. You've the float me. tank. Oh, fuck you. I went, you can be a voucher for the float tank. Yeah, Full boy. bite. Uh, don't do this again. You speed through corners like I'm there's no going, tomorrow. I'm driving like a gentleman. You went, you went to slow down around corners. Let's speed up. Uh. Is that a stain? <laughs> what? No, no, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my I god! I thought it was too nice. That's fucking funny. All right, get out of my car. Can you hand up the speed, please? Get the fuck right now. Thanks, Mohammed. Dan from production here. Earlier this week, I posted a podcast of a heavy topic with a light and lovable human, Terry Kearns. She was an Uber passenger of mine back in 2018, and she was falsely diagnosed with HIV. There were six weeks between being diagnosed and finding out it was a false positive. The story is extremely intense, but there are some really nice perspectives in there from Terry. I highly recommend this one. It's over on my podcast channel. Thanks for picking me up. Is it, where is it over there? Oh, it's across the road. Oh, uh, where, so the, like where, the, right where the traffic lights are, right across the road. Can you the road. open to the front door? 
Later.